Creating a custom module. In this movie, we'll learn how to create our own estimating modules or custom modules in all Total Build programs. The instructions in this movie are applicable to all Total Build 2.1 program versions or above. There are over 160 Total Build estimating modules available that already deal with all the common and not so common building and trade specific tasks that may be involved with a job. If you have a Total Build program that doesn't contain every available module, before creating your own custom module, it is worth contacting Easy Price Pro, as it may be that the estimating module you require is already available, and you're able to purchase additional estimating modules at any time. The best way to learn how to make a custom module is to see an example of one being made. As all the common and not so common tasks are already covered in the Total Build programme, we've really had to rack our brains, but we've managed to come up with something. We're going to create a custom module that can price up tree planting or the planting of hedges. Before we start building our custom module in the Total Build module library, we do need to check that the items and tradespeople we want to use are in our central library. OK, we're in the Total Build master file at the moment. We know this as we can see the file name at the top is Total Build, followed by the version number. To open our central library, we use the tabs. We click Settings and click Central Library. A window opens. Here's our central library file. We click on it. To ensure we have the items that our custom module will require, we're going to add seven new items to the landscaping in the material section of our library. We'll navigate there. Adding items to the central library is simple. We click Add Line. This can take a moment. Once it's added, we enter the details for the item. So the description. We'll enter an oak tree, five foot. We enter the quantity. In relation to the price we're entering, this is one. The unit type. In this case, it's number. Here we put in the cost. Remember, this is the direct cost. No markups or VAT should be included. The library automatically date stamps it for us. And for our reference, if we wish, we can add the name of the supplier who's given us the price. Let's add another. So we add the line, enter the description. This time it's Pete, a 20 kilogram bag. Enter that in. There's no need to put in an area. The quantity is one and the unit type is a bag. Enter the cost. It's automatically date stamped and we can enter the supplier name here if we wish. OK, we do need to enter the other items, but it's a simple case of repeating the process we've just used. So we'll just use some movie wizardry to get the rest of these in. OK, they are now all added. So we have some more trees, an expanding guard protector and plant ties. We have now added the additional material items that weren't already in the material library. We'll just hit save. For the purposes of building our custom module, it's important to remember the section of the material library the items we require are in. So in this example, they're in landscaping. We'll now navigate to the labour section of the central library. We're going to add in an additional tradesperson too. We'll put in Tom the gardener. The cost of using Tom is £10 an hour, and he works six hours a day. Again, best practice, we'll hit save. Now, we need to tell the Total Build program that we've made changes to our central library. To do this, we click the Update button. Here is our Total Build master file. It's highlighted blue. We click OK. The central library is now transmitting all the information within each of its library sections to the Total Build program. If we make changes within our central library, we must remember to carry out this step or the changes we've made will not be available to us in our Total Build program. OK, this message is telling us it's been successful. We can close the central library down now. We are now on the pricing sheet of our Total Build master file. Let's go to the module library and build our custom module. We click Settings and click Module Library. Now we click the New Module button. Prior to building the module, it would be best practice to note down each task that needs to be allowed for within the custom module, as each of these tasks will be added on its own line. This tree planting module will require six lines to allow for everything. To add these, click the Insert Line button here.
then just repeat this process until you have the number of lines that are required. Or just take advantage of movie magic. OK, so all the lines we require are added. Now we just work our way across from left to right. The first task that we will be doing when tree planting is setting out. We type in this description. Now to do the setting out we will need some line. The brick line is in the material library. So we select that in the first drop down menu. Now we tell the program the section of the material library the brick line is in. It's in the miscellaneous section. Now the main drop down menu where we select the actual material item we're going to use will be populated with all the items that are listed in the miscellaneous section of our material library. There's our brick line. We'll select that. The price of it is automatically brought in and the box is green. The next box that we need to complete for the setting out task is the quantity box. OK, when we've completed building our custom module and bring it onto the pricing sheet, we will simply be entering the number of trees that we will be planting into the red box here at the top. The program will then use the details we've entered into our custom module to calculate the cost of planting that many trees. This means that the number that we enter here in the quantity column for each task needs to reflect the quantity of brick line that we will use per tree. The unit type is a roll. If we look at the description, we can see that the overall length of the roll selected is 76 linear metres. When we're using this line to set out a tree, we're not going to need 76 linear metres each time. So we don't want to tell the program that we will need one roll per tree. Instead, we will enter that when we're setting out each tree, we will require 0.02 of the 76 linear metre roll we've selected, which equates to approximately 1.5 linear metres of the roll per tree. We'll enter that number in the blue box. The box turns grey. Now we need to enter the number of hours. This task, like the other tasks that are involved with the planting of a single tree, are all minutes rather than hours. Due to the way the program calculates, when entering any times, we need to convert them so it's a metric figure that's divisible by 100. So for example, 15 minutes is 0.25, half an hour is 0.5, and so on. A simple way to convert time into the format that the program needs is this. Let's say we're going to allow one and a half minutes for the setting out of each tree. We do 1.5 divided by 60. This gives us 0.025. We enter that number into the box and the program will use it to calculate the hours for the setting out of the trees. Alternatively, if we want to do it the other way round, for example, we may be looking at the time that has been allowed in the box and want to know how many minutes it equates to. We just multiply the number in the box by 60 and that will let us know how many minutes are being allowed. So if it said 0.04 in this box, we would multiply it by 60 and we would know that just under two and a half minutes were being allowed. We'll enter 0.02 into this box which is equal to just over a minute to set out the tree. Now we select the tradesperson who will be carrying out this task. Remember Tom? We'll allocate this task to him and it will be based on his hourly rate. Finally, we select the work section. This is important as it lets the programme know how to allocate the costs and times for this task in the work and payment schedule. OK, our setting out is entered. We'll repeat this process for the next task. This is excavating soils. We enter the description. Now this task is a labour only task. There are no plant or material items associated with it. So we select labour from the drop down menu. See, the programme immediately removes the boxes that won't be required and we can go straight to the blue hours box. Here, we enter the time required to excavate the hole for a single tree. We'll put in 0.14, which equals about eight and a half minutes. Remember, we just multiply the number in this box by 60 and we know how many minutes are being allowed. Now, we allocate a tradesperson. 
This is Tom again. And allocate the task to a work section. This is landscaping again. Now we need to mulch soils. Enter the description. We require a material item for this. The peat is one of the additional items we added to our material library. We entered it into the landscaping section, so we'll select that. Now all the items for the landscaping section will be available for us to choose from. There's our peat. The cost automatically comes through. It's a 20 kilogram bag and we'll be using a fifth of it or four kilograms per tree. So we enter in 0.2 in the quantity box. We're going to allow three minutes for the mulching of the soils per tree. So three divided by 60 gives us 0.05. We'll put that into the box. Tom will be carrying out the task and will allocate it to the landscaping section. We enter in the remaining tasks in exactly the same way. We'll just use a bit more movie magic. So we just put in the description and then work our way across selecting the relevant items entering the quantities and hours for the item or task that will be required on a per tree basis, selecting the tradesperson and allocating it to a work section. We've now built our custom tree planting module. The final step that we must take to ensure it is saved and available for us to select in our module drop-down list is to click this button here, Store Work Sections. It's really important to remember to click this, otherwise we won't be able to bring the estimating module onto our pricing sheet. OK, the text here tells us that because this is a custom module, if we use it in a quote, the text that is brought through to the written quote will consist of the title and we'll have space to add in the details ourselves. In a moment, we'll see this custom module in action on the pricing sheet. It's important to note that any of the details in the boxes that are now highlighted grey in the module library won't be visible when we bring the module onto the pricing sheet. The boxes will turn back to blue and appear empty. The details that we can currently see will become formulas that will automatically calculate when we enter in the quantity of trees we will be planting in this red box. Let's see it in action. OK, so we're in a quote. Most of the estimating for this work has been done, but we do need to allow for tree planting. Let's click the Add Module button. Here is our tree planting module. It's available for us to select because we click the Store Work Sections button. We'll bring it in. OK, so as mentioned, the boxes are blue. Let's allow for the planting of one tree. We enter one in the red box. Instantly, everything calculates. We can see the costs associated with planting this single tree, and here are the totals. When we built our estimating module, we specified that each tree would only require 0.02 of the selected roll of line, which equals about 1.5 linear metres per tree. If we change the number in the red box to 40, we can see that for the planting of 40 trees, we will still only require one roll of line. The whole roll is 76 linear metres long and we'll need 60 linear metres of the line to set them all out. This is a really good example of why it's so important to enter the actual quantity required per item. The same applies to the peat. We told the programme that we'd need a fifth of a bag per tree. So the programme hasn't allowed for 40 bags, it's allowed for the number of bags that we're going to need when we increase the number of trees to 40. Like the standard total build modules that are provided with the programme, we are able to adjust the settings once our custom module is on the pricing sheet. For example, we may want to adjust the default setting for the tree. Let's change this to a 3 foot one instead. Instantly the costs adjust. We can use the drop down menus here to alter the tradesperson or the work section the task is going to be allocated to. Let's allocate the setting out task to the apprentice instead. Instantly, the costs change to reflect this. If we're using our custom module and certain tasks don't need to be included, for example, we might not be using plant ties, we just click the tick. It becomes a cross and the costs for the plant ties are removed. To switch it back on, we just click the box again. Alternatively, if we prefer, we can at any time go back to our module library and adjust the default settings we've created. 
we just make the changes and click the Store Work section button. The next time we bring the estimating module in, it will be set in the way we've specified. Let's take a look at how our custom module is dealt with in the reports. If we just scroll down, we can see that the tree planting module is the only module that has tasks allocated to the landscaping work section. First, we'll go to the summary. So like standard total build modules, we can see the title of our custom module here. Here are the total hours and the direct costs of the labour and materials. Any markups and overheads would be added in the normal way here, in the totals. The tree planting costs will be included within these figures here. If we go to the payment schedule, this payment has the landscaping allocated to it. The tree planting module is the only module on the pricing sheet with landscaping work sections, so all of these costs are for tree planting. If we go to our work schedule, we can see the duration of the landscaping and where it's been allocated due to its placement in the work schedule for the job as a whole. We'll generate the written quote. Earlier in the movie, we saw that the blue text on the custom module did state that just the title would be brought through to the written quote. And we then need to add our own description. So here's the title. We can open the formula bar, click here, and then type the text we want into the formula bar so it appears on the quote. For example, we could put, allow for the planting of 40 oak trees. Alternatively, we could export our quote to Word and add in the description information in the Word document. We'll just go back to the module library. If we're already working in a quote and wish to add a custom module, we can. We just repeat the same process in the module library of the quote. But if we want a custom module we've made in an individual quote to be available to us in future quotes, then we must remember to tell the master file it's there. To do this, we open our total build master file, go to the module library and click the store work sections button. This will mean the custom module will be available in our drop down menus. We are able to add multiple custom modules to our module library. As we've seen in this example, we just ensure the items we require are in our central library. We can add and update our central library if required. We click the Add New Module button, then insert the number of lines required, and simply work our way from left to right, adding the details. When we are done, we click Store Work Sections. As I mentioned at the start, there are over 160 total build estimating modules available. So if you do have a total build program that doesn't contain every available module, before creating your own custom module, it is worth contacting Easy Price Pro, as it may be that the estimating module you require is already available. Alternatively, if you would like some assistance building your own custom module, then support hours can be used for this. Or if you do have an idea for an estimating module that isn't already available, then do let us know. Customer feedback is always welcome.